Hey, hello, good morning, guys, and this is Coding with Gautam. We learned a lot about JavaScript in our past video, so let's know more about JavaScript. So, guys, we stopped at a uh, hoarding wall in our last video. So, today, let's finish the coit drill double cheek for today's. So, I'll just equip some armor and let's get started. Build exactly four decoys. Report how many decoys were built are the goals we have to accomplish. And now let's look at this. So this guy is just telling us if there's a coin, you have to move at the coin. And if your goal is enough to buy a decoy, you build a decoy. Else, sorry, wait. Decoys built is an index when you increment it. And if decoys build equals 4, he breaks out of the loops. Heroes say, done the building decoys. Hero move XY, 1436. Hero says decoys built. Yep, and that's how you do this level. And let's look at what we used. We used if statements, break statements, move, say, incrementation, while loops, variables, and if loops. And a little bit of Boolean logic. So that's it, it for decoy drill. And now let's go on to the next level. We'll go on to double check. So now let's just put these off. And... Oh, I didn't want a new shield in this one. Okay, so let's move this. This. Uh, let's get started. So, defeat at least 6 soldiers, collect at least 30 gold, and escape. So, now, this is how it goes. Item equals hero find nearest item, and that's a variable. And uh, defeat ogres is an index, so while defeat ogres is less than 6, he finds the nearest enemy, he attacks, he increments uh, the index, else he says ogres. Hero moves to different places. If hero gold is less than 30, hero move xy, I don't oppose that x, I don't oppose that y. That, and then he goes, else he moves to the exit. Now let's look at it. And then now he's going for it. Yeah, and then I just told him to move at those positions so that they could get enough gold so he moved to the positions I asked him which brought him about 26, 26, 26 30 30 gold and then and then I escape and this munchkin comes out of nowhere and he says here he is and then these headhunters come and they try to kill me but I already escaped so that's it and uh, our goals finished our code finished and let's look at what we used we use incrementation attack move position while loops if loops else loops and indexes arrays and a little bit of boolean logic so that's our today's two levels and let's give you guys the challenge so today's challenge is destruction maneuver. Protect the ogre, sorry, protect the peasants and defeat the ogres. So guys, I don't want to show you my code or else it would be very easy, but let I'm just going to tell you what you have to do. So these munchkins are going to trick us this time. These guys are going to send a horde of munchkins to us. And one munchkin over here, as he says in this diagram, will be slowly going to kill a peasant. While they'll send us the horde. If we say find nearest enemy, we will attack them. And by the time we finish all of them, this guy would have killed the peasant. So instead of that, we have to use distance to and a little bit of logic to, uh, to attack him first and then attack these guys. This wizard over here will heal us and heal these guys if they're dead. So now, 
it's restarted and you can just look at this code it just defines the distance and stuff for you and then you have to write some code and then now he dies yes so this is what i'm talking about he'll send us a horde and then this guy will go very slowly he'll kill the peasants and we die so guys i think you can try that level and i think that's it for today please subscribe for more please smash the like button and again don't forget to subscribe this is going with Gautam signing off